And meteorologist Cedric Haynes has been tracking Dorian for days now. And Cedric, this storm is unpredictable and that path could change yet again. Yes, it could, Jenna. In fact, we just got the latest information coming in here with the 10 o'clock advisory on Dorian winds still holding at 150 miles per hour sustained, but we're seeing gusts now up to 185 miles per hour. So this thing really could be a cat five at any moment. So either way you slice it, look at Dorian this evening, just a monster of a storm. And you see this here? This is the northern Bahamas. This storm is headed right for them in the next 24 hours. In fact, I want to take you to the northwestern Bahamas where we have hurricane warnings that are in effect there. You head down to the southern Bahamas. We have a hurricane watch that's in effect. And look at this right off the Florida coast there from West Palm Beach up to Fort Pierce. We have a tropical storm watch that's in effect now. Let me show you the latest uh, computer model data. This is from our European computer model. This is the raw data that I'm showing you here. And I want to show you this because this has kind of been the consensus today. This storm would start to parallel the coast but stay far enough to the east that most of the impacts would miss Florida and maybe graze portions of the Carolina coast. Well, that was the model that was from earlier today. Let me show you the latest American computer model that's coming out, our GFS model here, and look at this. A westward shift in that track and getting closer to that Florida coast. Look at this by Tuesday night and early Wednesday morning, just off Daytona Beach, just off the shore of Jacksonville and potentially affecting places like Charleston dead on. So we are seeing some changes in this data here and something we're going to have to continue to tweak here. The official forecast tonight from 10 o'clock showing that the system still stays offshore. But again, watching the Carolina coast along with Georgia and Florida are definitely not out of the woods yet.